everybody and welcome to section 3.2. We're learning about angles and parallel lines today. Um, several postulates and theorems to go over. Um, this is the corresponding angles postulate. It says if two lines are cut by a transversal then each pair of corresponding angles is congruent. And what that means is all the corresponding angles, the ones that match up, will have the same measure. This will be congruent to this angle. This angle will also be congruent due to the fact that it's vertical. And so this is also corresponding and vertical. So all four of those angles are the same. Also, the other angles will be the same. This angle and this angle correspond. Therefore, they have the same measure. This angle and this angle correspond. They also have the same measure. And that is how uh, corresponding angles postulate works all of the angles that correspond are congruent so long as parallel lines are cut by a transversal. Okay. Next one. We have theorem 3.1. Uh, more important than the 3.1, I want you to know that as the alternate interiors angles theorem. It says if two parallel lines are cut by a transversal, then each pair of alternate interior angles is congruent. Okay. And what that means is uh, when the alternate interior angles will have the same measure. This angle and this angle, their alternate interior angles, they have the same measure. This angle and this angle, also alternate interior angles, those two in yellow have the same measure. Next, theorem 3.3, .3, alternate exterior angles. This angle here, and this angle here. They are alternate exterior and they are congruent due to the fact that parallel lines are cut by this transversal. This angle is alternate exterior to this angle and it, these two have the same measure. Next up, 3.2 theorem, consecutive interior angles and that says if two parallel lines are cut by a transversal then each pair of consecutive interior angles is supplementary. It means they add up to 180 degrees. This angle and this angle, they are not equal, they are not congruent, however, they add up to 180 degrees. They are consecutive interior angles. Likewise, this angle and this angle are consecutive interior. Not congruent, but they do add up to 180 degrees. Okay, so another way to describe consecutive interior angles cut by a transversal from parallel lines, you could describe them as supplementary. If they add up to 180, they're supplementary. And that will do it for this lesson.